And tonight, one of America's newest residents, Prince Harry, is once again bashing the USA, using a recent speech at the UN to say this about our great country. Take a listen. This has been a painful year in a painful decade. We're living through a pandemic that continues to ravage communities in every corner of the globe. Climate change wreaking havoc on our planet, with the most vulnerable suffering most of all. The few weaponizing lies and disinformation at the expense of the many. And from the horrific war in Ukraine to the rolling back of constitutional rights here in the United States, we are witnessing a global assault on democracy and freedom. Yes, save us the lectures. Now, those condescending remarks prompted widespread mockery for Harry's complete and total disconnect from reality. Remember, Harry, along with his wife, Meghan Markle, are the same people they claim they wanted privacy. So why all the hatred and disdain for the country that he's choosing to move to? after rejecting royal life in the U.K., but he's still a multi-multi-millionaire. Why all the animosity and, and hatred and anger from someone that lives such a privileged life? Here to answer that and so much more. I can't think of a better guest for this. Uh, host of Uncensored, Fox Nation host, Piers Morgan. All right, I'm a little bit sick and tired of this putrid, you know, woke rhetoric lecturing from Meghan and Harry. Now, they claim they want privacy, Piers. But then they go on Oprah for the big Oprah interview. Then they do a, a, they're doing a TV series. Now they're writing a book. Now they're going and blasting the U.S. at the U.N. You know what? I don't care what Harry thinks, and I don't care what Meghan thinks. And if they don't like it here, you can have them back. I will, I will pay for their <laughs> private jet back. No, 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 let's not be too hasty here, Sean. We've just got rid of them. Um, this is the only benefit to all this. Um, oh, no, don't thank you. You've hit the nail on the head. I mean, thanks a lot, Piers. Sorry, You're really a pal. Thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot. You know what it is? It's revenge for Wallace Simpson, uh, I'm afraid, Sean. We've waited a long time. Uh, you sent Wallace Simpson over to destroy our monarchy. We have sent Harry to go and ruin your lives. So sorry about that. We're one thanks for one. Um, look, I think to be. To be serious, there's such a shocking hypocrisy, isn't there, about Prince Harry and his wife Meghan and the way they go about this. These are the two that lecture, literally lecturing us again about climate change. The, and how did he get to New York to make the speech? Private jet. How do they always travel? Private jet. And I've got no problem with private jets, but stop banging on lecturing the rest of us about how to save our carbon footprint when you have no desire to do that yourselves. He was speaking on Nelson Mandela Day. Can you think of anybody less qualified to talk about a struggle of Nelson Mandela's kind than Prince Harry, whose own sense of freedom... He called... This book about him came out called Finding Freedom. Nelson Mandela's was long walk to freedom. Here's the difference. Mandela lived in a six-by-six prison cell for 27 years as a prisoner of conscience, then came out and became one of the greatest iconic figures of my entire lifetime. Prince Harry ditched his family, he ditched his country, he ditched everything that he stood for, he ditched most of his friends, and he fled the, the UK to go and live in California with his spoiled, woke wife in an $11 million mansion from which they preach about equality and poverty. I mean, you couldn't make it up, Sean. It's completely ridiculous. And I think he's got to be very careful now. If he's a renegade royal, and not doing any official duty, but just having his royal cake and eat it, and he starts trashing the American Constitution and the American people in the way that he's now doing, uh, in the same way that he and his wife trashed the royal family, it's not going to end well. All right, don't forget, Piers Morgan Show, uncensored on Fox Nation. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.